welcome back to my channel again. And uh, before we get into today's review, I just want to ask some advice of you guys. That uh, some friends of mine saying that my video are just my talking speed are just too slow, and uh, I was thinking this is the limit or the maximum I can get because uh, in terms of the quality of my speaking and quality of the the context. I've got here that uh, if I just fasten or hurry up more, that will uh, the quality of the sentence or the quality of the video uh, uh, me talking would be uh, greatly uh, sacrificed. But uh, I I'll try. Just uh, if you have some comments or suggestions uh, for my English speaking, because I'm not a native speaker, so uh, please leave the comment below. Whether you think this is fine or whether you think I should hurry up like a, what I'm doing now, okay? So, so okay. Thank you guys. And also, uh, I only got like 28 subscribers, 29 today. Um, so we got a lot to do. And uh, if you like me, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I I I, I couldn't express more uh, the appreciation on that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all. That's all. Pretty much it. Okay. Uh, okay. DJ drop the beat. Okay. Wrong click. Cut that. Uh, today I got you a uh, pseudo unboxing again. Actually, this is an unboxing because I never opened this box, as you can see here. Right. Uh, even got a, a Justin Murphy card here. That, uh, <laughs> it is brand new. This one is also a very similar shoe. Actually, it's the same model. Warner Wingtip Suede spectator shoe from Johnson Murphy as the uh, last time we did the Johnson Murphy suede so uh, today yes pretty much we got the same shoe but in different colors and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one so here goes the unboxing very quick okay <laughs> okay um, yes, today we're talking about these shoes. These shoes are again yeah, from Justin Murphy and uh, this is actually a genuine unboxing although I bought these shoes for about two years ago as they, I bought them together with the last one, the, the video with the, uh, the mahogany and uh, dark orange comparison, they call that snuff, uh, that, that water shoe. I bought those two, these two together and uh, this time I decided to use this one even like this one more so it's a it's a, a, a green or say brown grayish suede here with a very burgundy color or say darker brown color here as the uh, combination so uh, also spectator and uh, I prefer this more because they have a uh, green green is my uh, favorite color so <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it and uh, okay um, so I bought this shoe, I never wore them, even even without opening the box. And uh, let's get rid of this. Oh, I, I didn't tie the shoelaces so, because it's a new shoe. And uh, you can see that from the bottom, uh, of course. <clears throat> so um, yeah, let's get into the review. Uh, before, we, before we dive into the review, I want to briefly cover the shoe anatomy here, which we, uh, we get a uh, we term different parts in the shoe and uh, just give you a brief idea on the shoe terminology so here is the toe or say toe cap or toe puff toe puff is actually a puff like a extra leather layer you put underneath the very upper of the shoe and uh, you put that between the very upper and the lining so to add some more strength to the toe part and toe puff and heel puff okay to strengthen the whole, uh, the toe and uh, heel part of the shoe, and uh, yeah, and also moving back here, which here is called the vamp, which is uh, the part between the toe and the, the eyelids. So um, and uh, that's called the vamp, this part, this part. And here we have the quarter. This is called the quarter, which the, the entire side look of the shoe. That that's called the quarter here. <clears throat> and also here, also cup quarter. So um, and moving back, we have rear quarter, or say very back of the shoe, very back of the shoe, whatever you call that. But we often refer to this part as the rear quarter. 
okay? And this is the hill you got, hill stack, okay? And uh, here is the arch part, okay, where your foot, your arch is, okay? That's, uh, that's some uh, terminology here, and these are called eyelets, shoes, holes, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get into the review. Uh, so first look, as always, we have the uh, feeling and touch on the leather quality. Again, this is a uh, calf skin. Uh, they call that finished calf skin on Justin Murphy website. But uh, it's pretty smooth and uh, pretty soft. Supple enough, you see, when I touch the grain, it's pretty uh, soft. Uh, 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 unless you touch the toe puff area here, they got a, a puff or say stiffener in there to add some strength as we, as we uh, talked before. But uh, this finished full calf, uh, full grain leather is definitely a, a go-to in shoe industry. And here we have a uh, very nice uh, suede here in darker grain or say brownish grain. Nice one, and uh, the combination is very, uh, very uh, extraordinary. And uh, we move to the construction part. We are, uh, we have a nice medallion here, different sizes, circles. Okay, we punch the holes in a, uh, using a very uh, traditional way. Okay, and some manufacturer using a machine to do it. Uh, they put different size of models steel made models to punch the holes and a nice shaped medallion very full very very aesthetic and uh, we have a uh, round toe as the last one we review uh, Justin Murphy same model Warner wing tip and we here have a um, wing tip that's called a wing tip because it's like a wing and uh, we got also perforation holes all along the way wing tip and nice stitching here. They're very neat. You can see it's uh, the stitches here connect to each other in a very very tiny distance here. So high stitch density on the on the wing. It's a uh, it's very good wing constructed here. And because uh, this is a Balmero shoe, anyone who don't know a Balmero is, you should go back to check uh, check my video on the other Justin Murphy. I talked there a bit about Balmero versus Derby shoe. So uh, here we repeat again somewhat. Uh, Balmero is this long wing. Uh, this is long wing. And Balmero is this part. Uh, the long wing actually. Uh, this part. So you can see here it's a Derby shoe because this is uh, the open lacing system. But they actually connect this piece of leather here, this small piece, to the shoe. So uh, in a derby, you typically got two pieces of leather to uh, form the whole upper. But here we have more than two because this is one small piece and this is another uh, small piece here. Okay, so uh, I'll talk more about Oxford versus derby versus uh, ball uh, versus blucher. Uh, in the future, so blue shirt here consists of uh, one, two, three, four, and the back five. Okay, okay. Back is also a piece of leather. So um, we got five pieces of leather here instead of derby, which often consists of uh, two pieces of leather. <coughs> Sorry, and um, yeah, that's what a bomber is. Uh, Sorry, that's what a blue chair is. What I'm saying, man. That's what a blue chair is. If I if I'm confusing you using a bomber and blue chair, my bad. My apologies. And uh, the side dog here, very sleek, very classic, very how to say, very complicated design, right? Yeah, complicated is the uh, word I'm looking for. You got bunch of stitches, perforation, perforation holes, and long wing swings all the way from the toe. To the rear, rear quarter, and uh, and uh, also uh, some st stitches that you can see, which is a Gucci welted shoe. As we talked many times, moving to the back here, we have a very uh, well constructed rear quarter sitting tightly on that uh, heel stacks. Here we have the heels, so uh, sit very tightly on the heel, 
and uh, visually no gap, but uh, actually this is a, a small gap here because this is a radical wear shoe. What else? What more you can want, right? You just you, you get what you pay for, right? This is Gucci Welted shoe and also ready to wear. Nice color combination and a nice leather, full calf and uh, full calf grain. Uh, nice stitches on the bottom, so and the uh, heel stack have uh, different colors to to add even more visual details to the shoe. So uh, and also not to mention the the leather that you you actually you your feet actually touch is this piece of leather that's called lining here. So lining is made out of uh, I just checked. Okay, believe me on this. These are made of sheepskin instead of pig skin, usually. So sheep skin is more neat and more soft, more subtle, that will make your feet more happier. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. And uh, we have the arch part again, the arch part, very supportive. Although visually, you know that curve, like bespoke shoes here, the curve, I'm talking about the curve here, and they, why they do like curves, uh, very sharp degree curves here, the arch part that in bespoke shoes because they need to make a to make a fiddle back. A fiddle back refers to this waist. That's called the waist of the shoe. This part arch waist. Okay. This part is called the waist. As you can see here, the waist is not narrow. Uh, it's not narrow, but it's relatively narrower to a lot of shoes like the one we talk about in the um in the Dr. Martens, right? But uh, usually bespoke shoes make a fiddle back here that is very tight, very narrow because they need to use the carving knife to shape the, uh, to, to, to carve that shape to form that nice tightly narrow fiddle back that has a very uh, uh, obvious uh, ridge here extends to the shoe. You guys know shoes, know, the, the, know what I'm talking about, right? So, so this is not a fiddle back, but that's tight enough, that's thin enough, I mean, yeah, sorry, narrower enough, so pretty narrow waist, okay? And the bottom is made rubber, leather, rubber, whole piece, whole piece of rubber, so that uh, add more traction to make the shoe actually more durable. Although this is a Gucci Welty shoe, but I really prefer that that uh, they use rubber here at the very bottom of the heel, of, of the outsole, because this way you can just elongate it the time you're wearing the shoe without re sole them. By re sole I mean you tear this bottom out, tear that off, and put a, put a new bottom to the, to the, to the shoe upper. Okay. So this is a good job it, but they also do that to make you uh, more, uh, to make the shoe last longer. You can definitely resell that. It's what you want it. Uh, okay, pretty much for the review. Okay, guys. And uh, here we go, some more detailed video footage.
much for today and I uh, hope you like the video as always and uh, I will strive and fight to get you guys more and more reviews on different shoes that I, that I like and I bought and uh, I'll see you next one. Next one I'm planning to do a Dr. Margins so uh, I'll see you there. It's also a derby shoe. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Remember, this is Justin Murphy. Bye bye.